Uh, today we're going to look at how to cook Swiss chard. It's got very thick tapering stalks, greens, slightly waxier leaves than spinach. What I'm going to show you is how to cook the whole piece and the trick really is that you need to cook the stalks and the leaves separately. First thing you need to do is remove the root end in order to release all the leaves. Give those leaves a good wash. In order to strip them apart, you could try and do it with your hands, but actually it's much easier just to get a nice sharp knife and cut away those stalks with a simple V-shaped cut. You end up with the leaves and the stalks separate. Okay, now the ratio of stalk to leaf uh, is actually quite high in favor of the stalk. That doesn't really matter. You can use all the stalk and all the leaf if you want. You can uh, dice them and cook them down with carrots and celery as the base of a stew. They're robust enough to use like that, or you can slice them very thinly and add them to a stir fry for a little bit of crunch. But with this dish, we're gonna cook it all together. For the stalks, what we're going to do is dice them into a fairly fine dice, almost like we would for celery, carrots or onions as the base of the stew. Now we've got all of these stalks nicely diced, we want to slice the leaves. And by far the simplest way to do this is to stack them on top of each other, roll them into a kind of clumsy cigar shape, then take your knife and just cut them into strips and you end up with some nicely shredded leaves. Very simple. All you need to do is warm a little bit of olive oil in a pan and add those stalks. And I usually add a little pinch of salt at the start as well. Over a kind of low to moderate heat, we're gonna gently cook them down for about six to eight minutes. Should be enough time for them to cook nicely. If they look like scorching or drying out in the pan at any point, just add a little tiny dash of water to help them along. You don't wanna see them burn before you get to adding the leaves. These stalks are cooking down nice and gently. And while they're cooking, I'm just gonna finely chop maybe one large or two smaller cloves of garlic. And we're gonna add that garlic in when we add the leaves. Okay, now these stalks are nice and tender. If these greens are still wet from having been washed, then all the better. A little bit of water on the leaves kind of helps it wilt and steam down in the pan a little bit faster. So we're gonna throw those in the pan, we're gonna add the garlic, and then we're gonna cook them down for three to five minutes, depending on when you're happy with them being ready. Keep them moving in the pan so that garlic doesn't burn and they shouldn't take too long to wilt down at all. Okay, now these leaves are completely cooked down and tender. Now right at the end, we're gonna finish the dish with a little turn of black pepper and we're gonna add in a little squeeze of lemon juice. And the lemon juice just enlivens and lifts the dish just at the end. You don't wanna add the lemon any earlier than this because the acid in the lemon can discolor the leaves if you add it too early on. So we're gonna add it just as a final piece, just a tiny little squeeze, and then we should be ready to serve. Just take a plate and pile in your greens, and that is a whole head of Swiss chard cooked down as a simple side of greens with some lemon and garlic. Perfect. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to see our new weekly videos.